Got something here. Hopefully it's not a snag catfish. It's gonna be hard getting it out of all these logs right here too. Oh, that's a nice walleye. That's a nice walleye. Right there. Get it in the net, buddy. There we go. <clears throat> Got one. That one too. Jesus, oh, this is a nice one. Look how fat this thing is, guys. Down here for about an hour. <coughs> Man, this is a chunky one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a real good one right there. On Parsons lures. The size of this thing. That's a good one, guys. Look at that thing. Smoking it like a cigar. This is a nice fish. Super, super fat in the belly. Look at how fat that belly is. <laughs> Let's get her unhooked. Get her released. Probably a good, uh, I'd say five pounder at least. <coughs> nice, sweet. That's definitely another walleye right there. Heck yeah, that thing hit hard too. Feels good. Thing hit real hard. I guess that bite turned on right around four o'clock here. Hopefully, I can get it up over these logs. Ah, that's a good one too. And it's another nice one. one's just as big as the other one. Holy crap. Man, look at that thing. All right, buddy. You're long. You're a long one here. Wow. Beautiful fish. Super long. <laughs> Come here, buddy. This is super long. Look at that. It's a nice one too. Come back here. All right, guys, just got ourselves another one here. This is our second one in about 10 minutes. Been here for a couple hours, but they just seems like they just started biting. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish right here. Parsons lures, got the chartreuse going on. I'll get this guy unhooked, let him go. Can let go of my bait now. Don't take the tail off. It's the only chartreuse one I got left. So yeah, guys. We're starting to turn on. 
Gotta go. Man. There's that chartreuse with that, that blue flake. Stuff really works. I just had to take a little piece off that front, make it a little bit shorter because uh got ripped, but uh yeah. I'm hoping this bite really turns on here. Sometimes that wind pushes the other way and helps me get out there farther. Only like one other person way down there and the other guy just left. As soon as he left, fish started biting. <laughs> that sucks for him. But I figured once it started getting a little bit darker, the bite would probably turn on. Well, we got two in the past. I've been down there for about an hour and a half maybe, I think, total. But two were in like two bites in 10 minutes. It's pretty good. So seemed like a little bit of a current break going on right here and seemed like that's where they were kind of hitting so i to recast get back out there I only got one chartreuse left broke off two of them right out there there's a big old rock or something that's just eating them up just throwing it out there and let it bounce off that bottom yep and there's that same freaking snag spot Yep. There goes the last chartreuse. Damn, Gina. I don't know what the hell they got going across that river right there, but it's like some type of breaker barrier, maybe for logs or ice. Now that it's warming up a little bit, I think it might uh might be help preventing that dam that's way down down in Troy down that way from getting jammed up. I think that's what that is. I've never seen them put that on that river before, but probably hard to see in the GoPro, but it goes all the way across the river. Oh, let's see if we get any more fish. Oh, what the hell? I just threw a new jig on too, and I think I'm gonna lose it. Oh, well, I came off, whatever it was. Whew. All right, back to fishing. There we go. Still got that same Parsons lure on there oh I'm getting old let's see here. I don't know what it is it doesn't feel very big look at the size of this crappie what oh Jesus the way it, <laughs> I saw the markings I thought it was a crappie Oh, it just came out. I gotta put a new jig on there. I'm losing fish here. Come here, buddy. Ah, oh, look at the size of this bass. <laughs> I said it was a crappie. <coughs> I saw the, I saw them really that really cool pattern through the water. Had me uh, mistaken, but uh, yeah, this is what we caught it on again here. If I go this way. Here we can see it better. It's a nice. Uh, That's a nice smallmouth. Love the markings. Beautiful. Again, we caught it on that. I think it's cosmic crystal or maybe mohawk mud or something like that. Nice smallmouth right here. Uh, let this guy go. Nice. I had to decide to switch up from chartreuse because. I want to give these other colors a try. I know his, his baits work good. And I don't really give the other colors too much of a chance yet, but came out with some new ones during the winter. So this spring and summer, I'll definitely be throwing them. We have uh, it's really cool, almost like a silvery gray, smokish gray color. I think small mouths and large mouths will kill those. And we got the color we're using right now. And then, uh, of course, you know, he's got all of his other things in here. His white lightning, they always work really good. These look good, too. So, yeah, we'll be giving, uh, here's his, here's his gray ones, his three-inch garlic grubs. 
I'm gonna give these a try too in the summer, so. These ones are wicked garlicky all over the place. And then I was catching some uh, walleye on these ones earlier, but I ran out of Parsons chartreuse. He's got to, uh, got to get some more off of them because they work. So I'm going to retie, put a new jig on, see if we can get any more smallmouth or uh, any more uh, walleye here. Uh, we just had something slam my hook here. At about 50 casts haven't caught nothing well, it looks like it's got a little, little bass yeah. not a bad bass right there <coughs> wow it's actually a really good smallmouth wow okay we'll take that smallmouth all day long beautiful colors wow that's a football of a bass. This thing's ice cold too. Look at that thing. Let's get a picture of it. That's a nice fish right there for this cold water. It must be up on the shoreline there, maybe pushing up some bait. Thinking. It's a beautiful smallmouth. Yeah. It's a good size. Probably about a two and a two and a half pounder. Anyway. That's a nice fish. Just got ourselves another something here. Oh. Ooh. Is that another smallmouth? Oh yeah. These little guys are down here. Oh, we came off. There he is, guys. <laughs> there he is. There he is right there. He don't know what hit him. There he goes. Oh, how'd he come off? That was cool though. There we go. <laughs> Just got something else. Another bass, huh? Or no, a walleye. We got a walleye here, a good one too. I'm gonna try to get this one without breaking it off here. Let's get down there. We got a walleye. Oh. Let's rinse it off. Got all muddy. That's a look at the size of the eyes on that thing. Freaking marbles. <laughs> you got some big ass eyes. <sighs> there we go. Look at the size of the eyes on that thing. I've never seen a walleye with eyes like that big. They're a freak, that's a freaking monster of an eyeball. That's crazy. Nice fish. Beautiful markings on it too. What's up buddy? <laughs> Pretty cool. Got that on Parsons. Paddle tail. I think this one's the, uh, I can't remember what they called this one. I think this is the Mohawk Mud, or it might be the Cosmic Crystal or something like that. But it had three inch paddle tail, quarter ounce round jig head. Got that nice walleye. All right, we'll let this thing go. Glad we got another walleye though. It's been a while since I got one. Let it go down in there, zoom, gone. 
Oh, I actually caught one on something that wasn't chartreuse. Cool.